to the channel. Today's tutorial will be on how to engrave these top and bottom pieces but also cut them out. So I've done a little bit of work ahead of time. So I found a sunflower piece on the internet and I brought it over here. Uh, it was just a regular JPEG so I converted it to um, a path and uh, so I've done a little bit of work ahead of time. If you want to know how to do that just let me know and I can make another tutorial on that as well. It's really simple, really easy. Um, but now all we got to do is we want to be able to engrave this and engrave this but then we also want to be able to cut it out. And there, there are a couple different ways to do this. The one that I think is the easiest way to do this is just create a duplicate of the file and then make an outline. So the first thing I'm going to do is control D. You can also go to edit duplicate. But control D or edit duplicate, you won't see anything happen here. There it is. All I've done is made another one. It's right there, it just sits right on top. So I'm going to hit Control Z to undo the move that I did, and now it's sitting right on top. If I select nodes, I can tell that this is the path because there are nodes. That's what needs to happen. You have to have that path. The first thing I'm going to do is go to Path, Break Apart. It fills it all in, but you can still see the outline on every single part that's there. The next thing I'm going to do is just bring it all together in one file. Path Union. Now it's one piece. It's all black. If I click the X down here in this corner, it's going to remove the fill and you're going to see the sunflower underneath it. Okay? So, clicking the X, there's the sunflower underneath it. The path that I just made that's filled in, that was it's invisible right now because there's no fill, there's no border. But if I shift click, I'm going to go to the red over here and I'm going to shift click. Now there's a red outline. That red outline is going to be my cut. The black is going to be my engrave. So I now can, when I upload this to my laser or whatever you're going to use, you now are going to be able to engrave this and then cut right afterwards. Let's do this again. We'll make it really quick. Click this. Control D for a new one. Path break apart. Path union. We're going to get rid of our fill. Add the red outline. And now I have two cut paths. And they're surrounding these. But let's say I want a little bit of a border, right? I want this to, I, I'm good enough to go as it is. I can go in here and I can cut it. First you're going to engrave your image, then you're going to cut it out and you're good to go. But maybe I do want just a little bit of a break between the sunflower and where the cut line is. Maybe I just want a small little border there. That's very easy to do. Okay, so while I'm on the red portion, and you can tell it's the red portion by moving it over here, okay, control Z. While I'm on the red portion, um, you're going to go into your path effects. You can go to path, path effects. It's going to bring you over here and you won't see anything. By the way, this is version 1.2. If you have a different version than version 1.2, it may look slightly different, but the, the controls are all the same. You're still going to go to path, path effects, or it'll show up here on the right hand side. But when you do that, there's going to be a plus at the very bottom. Click on that plus. It's going to show you all the different path effects. If you have an older version, you won't see any colors, but they're there. Click on offset. This is the one that we need. From offset, you're going to go to units, um, I, and you can keep it as millimeters if you'd like. Let's say you want to make it one millimeter bigger. You're going to make it a plus one millimeter. See how everything is just a little bit bigger now? Now the, the image that I had had a few defects on it. So you'll see that there's a little piece here and there that kind of sticks out. That's okay. Not a problem at all. But what we're going to do is we can clean that up if you'd like to. Once it's to this point, you're going to want to go to path, object to path while it's still there. Because now you can pull out the nodes. So I'm going to click here. 
I'm going to clean some of this stuff up. So I'm going to zoom in very close and I'm going to see the little nodes that are sticking out. All you got to do is clean those up by selecting them, hit the delete key, and then go away. Okay? There was... You can also, if you'd like to, you can straighten it out. Um, you can delete these, have this line go straight to this line. It'll, it'll make it a little bit cleaner for you. Right now I'm just really looking for all the stray nodes. Actually, I don't see very many stray nodes here. Looks like they're pretty clean. Um, I just would need to clean up the path, right? Like this right here. So you can just delete them. And then take this right here, which changes what it, the shape. Just drag it to this node. Take this one, drag it over here towards this node. And now it's a straight line, right? I kind of want it a little, little bit off just because it looks like more of a flower. Bring this back a little bit here, there. But we just don't want the bump. Like, see the little bump that's here? Maybe the little bump right there. I don't, I don't really like the bump, so we're just gonna kinda clean that up. There we go. If you don't wanna see the nodes anymore, just click over here. The nodes go away, this, there it is. So you can also do the same thing with this. If you click on the nodes, and then this time click on, over here, you can always delete this. Right, and now you don't have as that that little bump there. You can do the same over here. So looks like I'm doing two tutorials: cleaning up little nodes. Right, um, you can clean it up by deleting. I showed you how to make this. I hope this helps. I hope this this does what you were looking for it to do. Um, if you do have any questions for me, please let me know. This one has a border. The one below us does not. This is flush right up with your file. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Uh, again, I hope this helps out. Thanks so much.